In CorelDRAW X5, the color engine was rewritten from the ground up, leaving us with what most experts are saying the most powerful, most controllable, the most elegant color management system in the graphics industry. But there's some downsides to that. That is, bringing in older CorelDRAW files very often are blacks or dense dark colors will be sent to a printer as dithered or somewhat uh, checkered or halftone or pixelated. And this is because it's bringing in from those older files CMYK instead of RGB. All laser engravers, as a matter of fact, almost all printers are RGB printers. Now, don't be confused because if if you know that your printer takes uh, CMYK printer cartridges, you just say, well, it's a CMYK printer. Not logically. I'm told the only printers that are that can really use CMYK are PostScript printers. Everything other than PostScript printers need RGB. So older files will be brought in as CMYK, and that will cause a problem, certainly on laser engravers. So our objective here is to set up our default settings where we're not bothered by that. We can import a file. We can copy and paste it. We can open it one, create it in older versions to draw, and send it to our output device without issues. So we do that by tools, color management, default settings. And here, the most important thing is the primary color mode. We want that to be RGB. Most of the other fields in this column are secondary, and over here even tertiary. But for best results, and let me say also, I'm not claiming I'm an expert, nor am I saying that I really understand all of these settings, far from it. But checking with the industry experts, both engraving machine, laser engraver experts, as well as graphic experts, these seem to be the best set of solutions. Under color, color profiles, RGB, select Adobe RGB 1998. The next two we really don't care about. We're trying to get away from those. Rendering intent, relative colorimetric. Color engine, if you have Microsoft WCS, use this, that. Many of you will not, and therefore use none. We want to a check mark beside preserve pure black. We do not want a check mark beside map gray to CMYK black. Spot color definitions, lab values, and then over on the right column, I set all of those. That's here we're talking about importing or copying and pasting, opening older files. What do we want the program to do? And I just changed all of those to convert to default color profile. And then let me explain that many people go through all this, and then they go back and check and see that files are open. It still shows CMYK. That's okay. This is not necessarily going to change the files you're bringing in, the, the values that will be shown in CorelDRAW. What it will do, however, is on the way to the printer, convert the CMYK values to RGB. So we're going to OK that. And to be sure we have it stored, we're going to click on Tools and Save Settings as Default. Now. This is a very old file, at least a dozen years old. Um, I'm going to click on a part of that mustache, maybe drag it out here. And the only purpose for this is just to show you now, down in the status line, we're told that that particular part is CMYK. So although we've changed all these settings, it's still showing CMYK, but that will print, the whites will print white without the, the halftone pattern in the background. The blacks will print cold black. Project completed.